Hi guys, welcome back to K World. Today I'll be summarizing the 2020 movie The Call. With a plot spoiler alert, let's get to it. In 2019, a 28-year-old Kim So Yeon returns to her childhood hometown to visit her terminally ill mother Yoon in the hospital. On her way, she loses her cell phone. She settles into her undown childhood home with the help of the strawberry farmer Park Sung Ho. So Yan is not on good terms with Yune, because Yune caused an accident by forgetting to turn off the gas which resulted in the fire that killed her father. At her house, So Yan finds an old cordless phone. She connects it and tries to call her lost phone, but the person who found it refuses to return it, unless So Yan provides a reward. So Yan receives a call from a distressed woman who believes she is speaking to Sun Hee. The woman explains that she is being tortured by her mother, and provides the address of her house. To So Yan's shock, she realizes that the address is the same as her own home. Later So Yan discovers a secret tunnel behind a wall of the house. As she investigates, she finds a box filled with shamanistic ritual instruments, a diary, and a photograph of a young girl taken in the year 1999, which is 10 years before the present time. The next day she approaches Sung Ho to inquire about the girl in the photo. He recognizes her as Oh Young Suk, and reveals that her mother was a shaman, but refuses to reveal more information about them. Upon returning home, So Yan receives another desperate call from the woman, pleading for help as her mother is attempting to set her on fire. So Yan receives another call and realizes that the caller is Young Suk. They both understand that they are living in the same house but at different times. The two begin to communicate through the phone and share information about their lives. So Yan tells her about the fire that caused her father's death, and in turn, Young Suk reveals that she is an orphan and currently lives with her adoptive mother Ja Ork. Young So Yan arrives with her parents at Young Suk's home in 1999 to inspect the house and buy the property. Young Suk recognizes So Yan as the one she spoke to on the phone and decides to make a call to So Yan, allowing her to listen to her younger self and parents inspecting the house. So Yan tears up upon hearing her father. Both Young Suk and So Yan decide to intervene and prevent the fire and save So Yan's father. So Yan provides the address to her house where the accident occurred, and Young Suk sneaks from her house, successfully preventing the fire. At that moment the burn marks on So Yan disappear and her reality changes. She discovers both her parents alive and well, and the house itself transforms into a lavish home. While on the phone with So Yan, Young Suk is caught by Ja Ork and subjected to an exorcism which results in a severe beating. During exorcism, Ja Ork foresees Young Suk committing multiple murders in the future. So Yan, concerned about Young Suk, researches her on the internet and discovers that she was killed by Ja Ork during an exorcism. In the next phone call, So Yan warns Young Suk about it. So Young Suk hides behind the door as Ja Ork attempts to attack her and kills Ja Ork instead. With Ja Ork gone, Young Suk is freed. Meanwhile, Sung Ho arrives at So Yan's house to deliver strawberries from his farm. Just then, Sung Ho also makes a delivery to Young Suk's house in 1999. Young Suk invites Sung Ho into the house, and as he tries to store the strawberries in the fridge, he discovers severed parts of Ja Ork stored in bags. Just then, Young Suk arrives and sees the frightened Sung Ho with the bags. So Yan in 2019 receives a call on the cordless phone with Sung Ho asking for help, but Young Suk abruptly hangs up. When So Yan returns to her parents in Sung Ho, she finds Sung Ho missing. To her surprise, her parents act as if they don't know him. So So Yan goes to Sung Ho's strawberry farm only to find it deserted. Concerned, she visits the police station to inquire about Sung Ho. She learns that he was killed by Young Suk, who was later arrested for killing and mutilating both Sung Ho and Ja Ork. So Yan then visits Sun Hee, who reveals her past friendship with Young Suk. Sun Hee shows a burn mark caused by Young Suk's attempt to kill her, and tells her that she was saved by Ja Ork. In the next phone call with Young Suk, So Yan confronts her about the murders. Angrily, So Yan tells Young Suk that she is eventually getting arrested by the police. Young Suk demands So Yan to find out how she gets caught, pointing out that she was the one who saved her father. Later in 1999, So Yan and her father arrive to finalize the purchase of the house. Young Suk lures them inside and kills So Yan's father in front of her. Just then, in 2019, So Yan's reality changes again and her father disappears. She rushes home to find the house in a much worse state. Young Suk having taken Young So Yan hostage, makes a call to So Yan demanding information on how she will be arrested. So Yan gives her false information and sends her to a greenhouse where a gas explosion is about to happen. However, Young Suk manages to escape from the explosion. To So Yan's horror, Young Suk makes a call and burns So Yan's younger self, and a burn scar appears on So Yan in 2019 as well. Young Suk then threatens to kill the younger So Yan and demands to find out about her arrest. She also tells her that So Yan was the one who caused the fire that originally killed her father by turning on the gas which her mother turned off. However, So Yan has lied to the police, saying it was her mother who forgot to turn off the gas. So Yan breaks into the police station, steals the notebook used in Young Suk's arrest, and gives the correct information to Young Suk. As Young Suk destroys the evidence that caught her, the reality changes again. The house is now owned by an older Young Suk, and she has continued as a serial killer.
In 1999, Yune goes to the police station to report So Yan missing. Just then the content of the notebook with So Yan in 2019 changes, indicating that Yune arrived at the house with a police officer and made a call on the cordless phone. In 1999, Yune discovers So Yan's bow in Young Suk's house as she arrives with the police officer. Both the officer and Yune become suspicious of Young Suk, prompting Yune to use the phone to call So Yan's father. In 2019, So Yan awaits Yune's call and warns her to get out of the house. However, the older Young Suk strikes So Yan from behind. In 1999, Young Suk kills the police officer as Yune tells him about the call. In 2019, So Yan engages in a fight with the older Young Suk, while in 1999, Yune fights the younger Young Suk. Yune makes another call, and So Yan encourages her to fight Young Suk. Yune manages to find Young So Yan and kill Young Suk, causing the older Young Suk to disappear from reality. So Yan searches for Yune, and is relieved to find her alive and well, though bearing scars from the fight with Young Suk. Later we see the older Young Suk making a call to her younger self warning her about Yune and the police officer. Yune disappears from the present day, and we then see a person tied in Young Suk's torture room covered with a white cloth. When the cloth is removed we see a frightened adult So Yan held captive by Young Suk. With that the movie ends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.